Hello everyone. In this video, I'll tell you about how to develop an Android application that can utilize SPI bus. So for this demonstration, I'll be using Bacon Cape. On Bacon Cape, we have a seven segment LED that is connected with the shift registers. These shift registers are connected with the SPI bus. Uh, let me show you the configuration. So here you can see that these shift registers are connected with P922, P917, P918 and P915. If you see the uh, diagram, pin diagram available here. So you can see that uh, P917, P918, 22 and 21 are SPI bus 0. Actually there are two SPI buses available here. Uh, we will be using SPI 0. Uh, let me show you the uh, so let me show you the setup so here you can see that I have a beacon cape attached with the beaglebone black okay so so first of all uh, first of all we have to log in in the shell and then first of all we have to install the overlay for SPI device 0 So now you can see that uh, this overlay is installed. Let's see the permissions for the SPI devices. You can see that uh, only root user can access these devices. For uh, so for accessing these in the Android application, we have to provide proper permissions. So let's do that. Now you can see that anyone can access these devices. Let me show you the code that I have made for this application. So here you can see that I have the prototypes of the native calls. So here we have, so first of all, let me show you the prototype, uh, uh, the native functions. So these are the native functions that is SPI transfer, SPI read byte, uh, read bytes these function calls are pretty much similar with the I2C bus function calls just difference is that uh, whenever we do SPI open here we will set the mode speed and bits per word of the device explanation of these functions can be found on the wiki page of this project so here you can see that uh, I have done SPI open then the bus bus 1 and device 0 this is the speed of the device and this is the mode this is bits per word uh, that uh, so uh, this function will return a file descriptor using that file descriptor we will uh, be able to write bytes to that device so here here uh, this this byte represent that uh, by using these bytes uh, we are enabling all the LEDs of the seven segment LED. We are sending that data to uh, to the shift register. Now here uh, we can see that uh, so in graphical layout. So here you can see that uh, I have a set display button. So whenever I click this button, then the value here will be converted to binary form and sent to the shift register. So whenever button is clicked, so the uh, the text of edit text will be passed in integer, and according to the cases, the byte value for enabling the LED will be sent over SBI bus. <coughs> so let's run this this code so before that we just compile the native code so after compiling the code let's compile the android app and run in the so here you can see that spi open is succeeded then uh, spi write byte is succeeded so 
what it has done is it is it has glowed all the LED so let me show you what is the output so here you can see that all the LEDs are glowing now this is the output of the app so here you can see that there is a button and that is uh, there is a edit box so uh, let me show you some other values so I am sending 0 to the SPA device here you can see that uh, 0 is being displayed now let me send 9 now you can see that 9 is being displayed if I send some error numbers value then you can see that E is being displayed so this was the application for accessing the SPI device thank you